welcome to month five of this SEO e-commerce case study. If you've been following along, uh, each month I've been updating you on this new e-commerce website I'm working on in the wedding groomsman gift space. And here's a monthly installment of some of the latest progress. So here's where we started. Everything with zeros and month over month. You're seeing we're building links. Google's starting to pick up keywords. And here in this latest month, we are seeing our biggest gain in steady traffic. Traffic that's associated with some commercial intent. At the end of month four, last month, our, our average rank was sitting in the, the 28 range. Uh, since then, we've moved up to an average rank of 22. Uh, here's some of the keywords we're tracking with Linkio. You're seeing, we're starting to see some uh, top three. Let me add uh, three months ago here to the column. So we're seeing top three. Three months ago was in position 10. Uh, for a lot of these like lower volume, mid volume keywords, uh, what's exciting this month is our main keyword, Groomsman Gifts, which has 90,000 monthly searches. Uh, it's moved up to page three in Google, whereas uh, just uh, last month it was a position 74. And even in the past three months, the highest it's been has been page five. So we're seeing some good traction there. What's been interesting is just the, the steady, steady increase over time. Uh, for a brand new site, it seems like we have avoided the sandbox. Um, maybe that's because we just, the day we launched this website, it was, it was fully ready. It had all the pages set up. It had all the category pages. And from day one, we, we were just blasting homepage links, essentially. That's, that's been the strategy to date. So here's the organic traffic stats that I'm pulling directly from analytics can see a few months ago basically getting nothing per day then we started getting some some bumps 10 users a day and now on a good day we're getting like 25 organic clicks per day so I'm excited with that trend and, and, and if you're wondering you know what are we actually doing to achieve this uh, it's it's mostly just been a steady kind of rinse and repeat strategy that we've been using. If you've seen anything with Outreach Mama, uh, we have this custom outreach service. Each month we prospect 300 bloggers. Um, those that respond positively, we work with them. We try to get an article placed on their site. Uh, and we place articles that are optimized for SEO. So uh, we're not only are we optimizing for anchor text percentage, which we, we do use Linkio for the anchor text percentage. Um, I do that because I want to be able to my, for my team to do as much of the work as possible, but I wanna give them the tools to not mess up on the details. Like the anchor text to use is a detail. If you build a lot of links and you mess up the percentages, that could hold back your progress. For me, um, I want my team to handle as much of the planning and strategy as possible. So Linkio is kind of a tool that they can use to plan their anchor text uh, and just follow a roadmap and, and just not mess up the process. We also do title tag optimization of backlinks. So uh, we like to have the main keyword in the title of the backlink at least 50 to 60% of the time and then topical keywords uh, in a lower, lesser percentage and then some kind of you know, mixture of natural uh, title text without any keyword in some backlinks. So we're optimizing anchor text, we're doing on relevant articles, and the, the backlink of, is, of the URL is, or the, here, let me show you an example. So if we look at some of the backlinks here, we'll see, uh, we'll see ba Buddy's Bachelor Party. That would be a, a topical keyword in the title. Uh, resources for wedding invitations, gifts, and more. That contains part of the keyword. 
six awesome groomsman gifts for whiskey aficionados that contains the exact keyword. So you want to do this in a way where it's not, you're not just seeing groomsman gifts, groomsman gifts, groomsman gifts. So like you don't want to spam uh, the titles of your backlinks, just like you don't want to spam the title, the uh, anchor text of your backlinks. But you want to give Google good relevance signals and you can be a bit more aggressive with the titles of your backlinks because this is not an area of abuse the way anchor text was. And if you look at these these websites that we're getting links from, Rocky Mountain Bride, Circle of Love Weddings, Destination Nido, Premier, Wisconsin, Premier Bride Wisconsin, highly relevant URLs, all in the wedding space. Uh, so I think all of these strategies have played a role in just kind of the the quick growth and rankings of this site. And in terms of, you know, let's it's been five months. So if we take a look at the overall picture, how things are looking right now, hrefs, it, it shows 130 referring domains. But in this industry, hrefs, uh, it picks up a lot of double links because it finds like the Squarespace version of a wedding site. So the actual link count is actually 75. And when I say actual, I mean that the links are do follow and that the links are indexed in Google. There's a few links that are still not indexed. Some of these will probably become indexed over the next couple months, but for now we have 75. And of those 75, a whopping 70 of them, we've been building to the homepage. And I, I talk to clients all the time about, you know, they, they want to rank a page, they want to rank for a keyword, they've created a page for it, and they want to build links to that page. And I look at their domain and oftentimes that it's just a new site. There's no brand established yet. Uh, and if you build links to your internal page, it's, it's going to be an uphill climb for you to actually get those rankings. If you do it this way, where you spend several months, six months, eight months building links to your homepage, what happens is your internal pages, they just start to rank on their own. The most of these pages are internal pages, like um, all of these, you know, these like mid volume, page two, page one ranking keywords, these are all from internal pages that we haven't really built links to. Um, but when you establish your brand in Google, Google starts trusting your on-page optimization. The way you establish your brand in Google, one of the easiest ways is to build homepage links. Sure, you could also, you know, do a bunch of PR and get people typing in your brand name. Um, you could generate a ton of social media traffic and then Google starts paying attention to your site more. Or you build a bunch of homepage links and that gets you ready as well. So at some point, I'm going to transition to, to targeting some of these high volume internal pages and building a handful of links there. Uh, but for the next few months, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Custom outreach, weddings in my industry or uh, bloggers in my industry, relevant articles, natural anchor text, pointed to the homepage, rinse and repeat. And I'm hoping we're going to continue seeing uh, the average rank of this move into the teens. Uh, and then, you know, within a year, if, if the average rank is, is sitting under 10, I'd be, I'd be very happy. Okay, I think that's, that about wraps it up. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I know I mentioned a few tools. So just to give you some uh, tips, if you want to, if you're thinking about trying to optimize uh, your backlinks, title tags, go to linkio.com backslash SEO resources uh, and check out this backlink title tag checker tool. So what I've been using this for is I put in the keywords that I want to rank for. I put in topical keywords. So here I'd put in like groomsman gifts. Here I'd put in like a bachelor party, that kind of thing. Um, if you have existing backlinks to your homepage, for example, put them in here and then put a top ranking competitors backlinks here. What this tool will do is it's going to come, it's going to check all the title tags, categorize them, give you percentages. It'll show you what your competitor percentages are show you what yours are, and then you'll get a sense of 
what your next batch of backlinks, what the, the topics of the article should be about. Yeah. So check that out uh, and let me know what you think.